if we solve business and investment problems, then we need to find this one. If you're looking for the interest, the formula is principal times rate times time. Then if you're looking for the principal, oh, what do you mean by principal, rate, and time? Let me first explain that. Now, for example, I have 1,000 pesos. And this 1,000 pesos, I will place it in the bank. Now, the bank says it will give me a 10% interest rate every year. So after one year, my 1,000 pesos is added with 100 pesos, right? Because that's 10% per year. So after one year, I will get 1,100 pesos. This 1,000 pesos is what you call principal. What's your capital? That's a principal. The increase in money, which is 100 pesos, we call that the interest. So again, here, the interest is 100. Then, oh, I could not write again. The 10% is called rate, while the one year is called time. Now, let's go back to our problem. Let's us, let me first snip our first problem. The first problem states that, what is the interest rate? Again, we're looking for the interest rate. A bank offers, if your principal money, the given is the principal money is 30,500 yields. It means it yields an interest. The interest or the increase in money is 4,575 after three years. Three, the three years is for the time, that's three years. And what are we looking? We are looking for the interest rate. Now let's go back to our module. What's the formula for solving rate? Here, that is interest divided by principal times time. So let's write. Again, rate is equivalent to rate is equivalent to interest over principal times time. Now, what is the interest? How much is the interest? Four, five, seven, five. How about our principal? The principal is 30,500. You multiply it by time, which is three. So we have 30,500 multiplied by three. That's 4575 five, divided by 91,000. 500. If we divide that, our rate will be, again, the rate should be in percentage. The rate will be 0 0.05, or in percentage, that is 5%. So the question, what is the rate? The rate is 5%.